Oh my god. favorite first time reptile pet if you're not getting a snake leopard geckos are great first time pets and i just grabbed a couple that we have here at zoo creatures um they come in clearly so many different colors which is really cool we have a max snow a murphy's patternless an albino and i believe this is a diablo blanco wait right so here. this one i'm looking at right here this that the albino yep with the stripe yep you see and what what's this white one it's called a Diablo Blanco. Oh, oh, fancy! But I, I, mean, I, I need to know so I can put them in the tags. Oh, perfect. That's why I'm asking. I mean, look at that. Look at that face, darling. Look at the face. Yeah, these guys have pretty great faces. The face. They're memes. Tons of memes. Tons always. of memes. They always look like they're smiling. Do you just want to lift that up again? Yeah, <laughs> but also I don't want them to all run away. Uh, right. And they like secure spaces. <laughs> they do. They're they're 100% nocturnal. And uh, oftentimes, a lot of the albino stuff, or like after and raptor stuff and radar stuff, they're light sensitive. Um, so if they're out during the daytime, they will keep their eyes closed, like hundred percent. Oh, that's why he was doing that. Yeah. So yeah. it's not indicated they're like sick or something. Or... No, nope. no, they're just light sensitive. So it's it's one of the the downfalls of leopard geckos. Is like some of the albino stuff has light sensitivity, but other than that, they're. Do you need, like, different lighting for, for them? Or? No, I mean, you don't even really need lighting at all, so they're nocturnal, so even if you just have a heat pad um, underneath to provide the heat, you're pretty much good. A lot of people will put, like, a, a red light or an infrared heat emitter on top if they want to, and that's perfectly fine as well. Um, but they make great first pets. They're super easy to maintain. You can keep one in a 10-gallon tank, so it's a pretty small profile animal. But, I mean, like, come on. <laughs> we're not trying to sell you them we're just trying to show them off yeah unless you want to buy them unless you want to buy them if you buy them it's pretty cool they're not free they're you gotta buy them they're not even that expensive that's it I'm good. that's it I'm good. yeah i'm good with that I wow just like, you yeah. just want you just Look okay let me just tell you guys jeremy's like i want to make a video and he's like i really just want to i just want to do that i really did just how many views do you think that video will get it needs at least five yeah and i'll feel comfortable five yeah five okay cool Maybe, uh, wow, that was fast. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, that's not how I want to So I just wanted to be able to do that. So I just want you guys to, we're going to talk about the room down here for a bit because I need more content. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not going to cut any of that out. I'm sure that's good three minutes of video. It's three minutes, by the way. Was that three minutes? I mean, maybe six minutes. <laughs> so we got like ball pythons to the ceiling, literally. Oh my god, that's fun to we use a ladder to get up there. Oh my gosh. What are all these bins filled with? It's like bigger juveniles? Bigger, these are some adult ball pythons. Um a couple of other a couple of other things here. I think we have like some bigger colubrids. I think there's a lot of people that don't realize that we have a, a retail store below. So that's more that's where we're at right now. Uh oh. Oh my god, we found it. Crisis averted. Cool. Is it a corn snake? It is a corn snake. What a neat corn snake. Whoa. Hey, you know what I learned about corn snakes? What they call them corn snakes because I thought they thought the snakes were eating the corn. <gasps> yeah. Donnie's learning. Isn't that crazy? Donnie's and on the bottom of their bellies look like corn cob. I know. It's insane. I should make my own corn snake videos. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Welcome pretty to Donnie's sweet, show. Actually. We're gonna look at some corn snakes. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, <laughs> I'd watch it, dude. I'd give you one view. I would be crazy about it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get out of my... Great, great, smooth. We got it. <laughs> this is organic, bro. Dude, I remember when I brought her here. She was not this large. Oh no. <laughs> like, she's been fed quite well. Why do you keep her snake here? 
Uh, we were doing a breeding project with Kev, and uh, she actually didn't go, and I was pretty bummed about that. But uh, what do you mean she didn't go? She didn't produce any eggs. So now she's just taking up space. <laughs> yeah. Well, now she's been so heavily fed. <laughs> need I need a bigger <laughs> cage for her before I bring her back. What do you specialize in? Personally? Yeah. Uh, I mean, a little bit of everything. Don't I, shut up. What do you? Come on. No, I you? do. Now I, I focus primarily on different species of pythons. Uh, carpet pythons are, and blood and short tail pythons are where my focus is going. Um, but I keep and breed retics and ball pythons and different colubrids and leopard geckos and all that stuff. You know that. Do you know that this guy doesn't like big snakes that much? I'm not a big fan of big snakes. Yeah. Well, you know what? Isn't that weird? But he's holding one. I, I can work with big snakes all day. I learn from some of the best. But personally, when I have to like do a full body workout to take my pet snake out, I'm it's not very true. And and using a shovel to clean up poop is not my forte. So. But but blood, yet blood pythons do have big poops. I love that <laughs> you said that. But like monitors are super clean and they don't require don't keep, a lot of maintenance. I've got, I've got two monitors. I've got oh. two black tree monitors, but I don't keep water monitors. You're just a spider person. I'm a spider person. Creep. I, which is bad because every spider person I'm, I meet, I'm like, am I that weird? Am I weird like them? Because they're the, weird, <laughs> the weirdest people I meet, except for scorpion people. You're, you're weird. I know. I know. I'm weird. <laughs> All I need to do is, hey, guess what? <laughs> Yep, that was that. See, that that was good. Help! That's outro. What? It's called. Oh my god. Dude, I haven't hit the gym in a while. This is actually a workout. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm trying to hack me to kill the ones one stone right now. What do you think of the live stream? I think the live stream went great. You had fun? Was, yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was cool to uh, be a little more candid. I think that was kind of fun, just kind of answering questions on the spot as they're coming in. And uh, there were a lot of questions. Like, I went back and listened to it and was reading through more comments. There were comments I didn't even see when we were actually doing the live stream. I was like, whoa, <laughs> when did that one come up? Uh, some bizarre comments. Apparently, some people don't like me. I'm too silly. You really don't have that many haters. You get the same haters I probably have. Maybe so. Same people. Okay. People that just, oh, I'm more Kevin in my videos. Yeah. Teach me things. Teach me things. I can teach you things. Yeah. You see, the thing about Jeremy that I like is Jeremy can teach you guys and also make you laugh. That's Kevin can do it too, but I think Kevin doesn't realize that a lot of his audience isn't as smart as him. She was uh, pretty, pretty large, pretty quick. She grew to be about eight feet in the first year. So that's a pretty large thing. But the thing that's fun and also, I guess, not fun, depending on how you feel about it, with retics is... Uh, they don't really get the girth until they're a little bit older, so it's all it's it's all about the length. Um, <laughs> length is How many times have you said that? Huh? I mean, you know, maybe a couple times. Do you prefer a girthier snake or a longer snake? <laughs> Colubrids are what you want. But I do enjoy colubrids. No. <laughs> God, so strange. Uh, Let's see. I think. Yeah. But around this size, you know, they, this is this is a pretty girthy. Retake. You know, this is, a, this is a Tiger Het OGS, so she certainly has the ability to get larger, but isn't necessarily going to get that much bigger. She's probably about 14, 15 foot, maybe. But she's she's wonderful. She's wonderful. She's wonderful. Come up with some new words. She's fantastic. She's non-cantankerous. Oh. She <laughs> I hate that word. She's uh, uh, exquisite. Um, Kevin weeks. uses that one too. I hate it. Does it? Uh, yeah. Does he? Does Wonderful, it? exquisite. Yeah. Uh, magical. She's magical. Magical hasn't been used enough. Ooh, what a magical magic. snake. Yeah. It's snake magic. Um, yeah. Maybe we should. Should we give Kevin a thesaurus for Christmas? He uses a lot of big words. I don't. Don't do that to me. <laughs> don't. Do that. <laughs> no. A thesaurus of smaller words. I can't even spell a boreal <laughs> right, and I put it in a Abibario. title. Abibario. Abibario. Yeah, it was so close. Yeah. Now this is a, a big Honduran milk snake. Uh, these are one of the largest species of milk snakes that are out there. Let's see if I can get her. Is this like a beginner animals. pet? Or like, is this okay for beginners? Um, I don't know if I would recommend a big Honduran for a beginner. They can be a little finicky, and they do get quite large. Um, and they're pretty, like, this is certainly not a fat snake. This is pretty much muscle. Um, so they kind of know where they want to go. So maybe if it's, if the kid's maybe a little bit older. Um, what if it's an adult man that wants so. to start? Owning snakes, so it's not always oh. kids, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, I mean, if you do your research on them, yes, 
you know, one of the big misconceptions with these guys is, uh, you know, a lot of milkshakes come from the Midwest U.S. and stuff like that where it's hot, hotter. These guys come from Honduras. Oh, yeah. Honduras. That would make sense. You know, um, but they like it a little bit cooler. And uh, that's, that's probably one of the biggest things. What I used to keep and breed these guys years ago, um, one of the biggest concerns that people would come to me with is, like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, you know, these are my... Uh, husbandry parameters and it was always too hot always too hot so they wouldn't eat or if they did eat they would regurge really quickly it was really uncomfortable so these guys are they're pretty secretive they like to hide um but i mean when you get one of these like full grown at like six foot it's a really impressive animal you know it, it really is and these colors the the honduran milk snake colors are so brilliant and this is just a tangerine so there's not, you know, it's, it's very pretty orange and black. Um, but if you get like the tangerine albinos or even the ghosts and some of the hypos, the colors are so vibrant. It's, it's amazing. Uh, and they kind of have this natural sheen. They're a very smooth snake. So they have this kind of natural sheen to them, uh, which I think makes the colors pop a little bit more. But they are really, really cool snake. Cool. Yeah, milk yeah. snakes. There you go. That's all you do, actually. Yeah. I yeah. like I like milk snakes. I like milk snakes. <laughs> I love. I can pair it, and pretty much Jeremy will just do it without even thinking. <laughs> like if I think it's funny, he'll just do it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Hey, cool ring. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's my it's my bling. It's my man ring. Yeah, you know? it's my man ring. Do you have yeah. toe rings? Yeah, I don't. No. Thank God. It's kind of nasty. It is super nasty. Oh. Dude. What's up? This what? thing. What is this? Right. Okay. Cool. So. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before you start. Didn't we see this at Tinley? We before? did see this at Tinley, and now it's here. So all we gonna do is just like talk to people, the camera in front of them. They send us free stuff. I think that's how it works. We're do that more. Hey, you should do that. More. Hey, hey, Terra. Hey, hold on, Terra Org. Terra Org. Yeah, send us more stuff. Orb. Orb. Does he... That's a B. Oh, Terra Orb. <laughs> uh, Terra Orb. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So, all right. Well, first of all, I want to say a huge shout out and thank you to Mike over at Terra Orb. Uh, for sending us this and uh, yeah, we're just gonna take a look at it for those of you who are unfamiliar We did a quick little spotlight in our Tinley video and uh, this is a really unique display cage design Check out that little little door lock. There's nothing in this way. It's pretty is, cool. Is it like a key? Yeah, it's like a little key thing Check that out. This is a really cool door. It just goes all the way around like that. It's pretty sweet This is a pretty decent sized cage. This would be pretty equivalent to like your two by maybe 18 cage. Uh, so it'd be really great for like a corn snake or a hog nose snake or something like that. Really cool display enclosure. Um, and there's a lot of options. One of the best things about this enclosure is it ships flat, which is pretty cool. So if you want a cage, like you get some, some of the other uh, enclosures that are out on the market for reptiles today, uh, they're shipped pre-assembled. So they have to ship freight. So shipping can be pretty expensive. These are shipped flat, which is really cool. Um, and the price point is pretty competitive to a lot of the other display enclosures that are out there right now. So one of the other cool things is that this little spinny mechanism right here, this actually uh, keeps the door locked in place, but you can unscrew this and then the door would come out. So if this ever broke, you could get a replacement. Are we sure we can get replacement parts? I'm pretty sure you can get replacement parts. You said pretty sure. Pretty sure. Uh-oh. 100% sure. Okay. Uh, but here's one of the things that I like is there's some different options here. So I'm going to actually cut the lights for a second. You can see there's this awesome LED light inside. So if you want to have a day and nighttime light, we have this bright LED. Boom. Now it's blue oh, look for at your that. night light look at that. action. So this would be really cool if you had like maybe a couple of leopard geckos. You want to have a really nice enclosure for This would be freaking sweet. And up top, obviously, this is where we have the light. There's a space here where we actually have some extra ventilation up top. You can put a small heat lamp here. Here's what's really cool. Flip these lights back on. Oops. Wow. I failed at turning on lights. Boom. Wait, oh, is this to block this? Yeah. So you can replace this. You, let's say like, oh, I don't, I don't need this ventilation or I have a bigger light switch. Watch now. I can't even get this out. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah! <laughs> Oh, your, part, your product is getting us right now. Yeah. Oh. Boom. Look at that. There Look at we that. go. That's the easier way to do it. <laughs> Pop it right in. Boom. So now that's covered up. And if you're like, ah, 
the heck with the light. It's cool, but I don't want to use it. Boom. Oh, what kind of lights you got? The LED lights. Look yeah, at that. It's pretty sweet. Ready to get blinded. Boom. Boom. <laughs> spread the butter. Boom. <laughs> spread the butter. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Boom. Now you got a nice big ventilation screen, or if you need a bigger basking bulb or a larger bulb that you want to put on there, you can do that. Obviously, you can put both screens if you want to do that too. So they also send a couple of little replacement tabs for these if they ever break, because sometimes they do that, which is super helpful. So I think this is a really cool product. It will be super cool as, a, as an interesting display. It's certainly not your typical glass aquarium that's all squared off and everything. So I think it's a really cool product. I like this uh, kind of ovular design. This obviously little door locking is pretty sweet. So I think overall this is a really cool product. I'm sure you can put like a heat pad underneath it. Um, if you got a snake that maybe is more nocturnal, you don't want to have a whole bunch of lighting on top. So I think this is actually a really cool product. It's a really neat display. We're actually going to use it here downstairs at the pet store. I'm going to set up probably like a corn snake or a hog nose snake in a really nice elaborate setup here, which I think will look pretty sweet. So again, huge shout out to Terra Orb. Mike, thank you for sending us this. This is sweet. You should go check them out. Uh, you can just go check out terraorb.com.